Hey guys, it's Leslie. So I don't normally show my face too much on this vlog because I try to make it more about Disney and less about myself. But a couple days ago I did receive a message from a young girl who was only 11. She was talking about how she's bullied and how her one friend is moving forever and she's never going to see her again and that made her very upset. And that's something that really to me means a lot to me because I was heavily bullied. Probably from the time I was her age was when I started to be extremely bullied. It started in middle school. Girls who I thought were my friend would start to pick on me. I'd show up to school and they'd run away from me. I'd have, you know, one day I went home at lunch because I didn't really like to stay at lunch because, you know, my friends, I didn't like to eat with them because then I'd be picked on and I didn't want to have to deal with recess. So I just went home. And I checked my email, and I received an email from one girl in my class who said, so-and-so doesn't like you, and then listed off a list of literally everyone in grades 7 and 8 who didn't like me, which then I go back to school, I talk to even the girls I would walk to school with who I thought were my friends, and they just looked at me and said sorry and walked away. I had teachers who would bully me. I had, like, you know how everybody has that book, a little notebook that you pass between your friends in the hallway. I had one teacher take it from me. This is when I'm at my most bullied. Put it up on the bulletin board. Just, I wasn't passing it. It was just sitting there in my bag. He took it out, put it up on the bulletin board. In the end of class, like everyone else got to do who got their notes confiscated, I went up to get it. He knew I was bullied. He said, no, that stays there. So for the rest of the day, I had the grade 7s and the grade 8s all walk through able to read my book. So when you're a bullied person, the last thing you want to know, is, the last thing you want is to have someone to know all of your private details because then that just gives them more fuel. So, you know, years after that, I just kind of kept my head up. I said, you know what, just do your own thing. You don't need friends, just get through this. There was one day, however, when my world just came crashing down. I just couldn't take it anymore. And this is something that I haven't even told my friends. Like, a lot of my friends don't know this. But I tried to commit suicide that day because I was tired of being told, I'm not cool, I'm weird, I'm lazy. And so I tried to commit suicide. Like, I have scars on my arms. Underneath the tattoo, there are scars. And... Then that night I went to bed thinking I wasn't going to wake up. And when I woke up, I realized, you know what? Something's got to give here. You need to change something. You need to stop caring and just start living your life. Because you know what? Those people, they're not going to matter in five, ten years. So stop caring what they think. About a week later, I was given the opportunity to job shadow Annie Leibovitz, which you Disney fans know as the photographer who did all the celebrities like the Snow White and the Cinderella and the Alice in Wonderland with the different celebrities. So I got the opportunity to job shadow her and she sat down and she spoke to me and she listened to me and she told me, you know what, you have talent. You need to pursue this. You need to work hard and just work at what you do because you're going to be someone that day. And I remember thinking, why does she... Why is she saying this? Because no one, not a teacher, not a friend, ever told me I'm going to be someone someday. So why is this woman who, you know, was the last one, for instance, to photograph John Lennon, why does she, like, why does she want to say that about me? I didn't get it. But then I just started to realize, you know what? You have to believe it. She had told me she was weird. She was bullied. And then I got to thinking, almost Every celebrity, I've never heard them say, you know, I was really popular. No one ever picked on me. They all had to hold their head up high and they all became something way more than anyone they went to school with ever did because they worked hard because bullies just, they make you stronger. They make you a stronger person. You Today, I'm 23 now and my life is so different from where it was 10 years ago. I'm... And like I even get picked on still. You can still see it. You guys see it on this website, which I've never been on, but I get picked on all the time. I get messages saying, stop posting your shit on Image Fave. I don't know what that website is. I've never been on it. 
I don't post on it, but I still get bullied. You still see it. But my response is if I cared what people thought, I would not be writing a fashion blog based on Disney characters. There's nothing less mainstream than that. It's definitely not well accepted in the fashion industry and I'm definitely still doing what I want to do, being as weird as I want to be and just living my life. And that's because of the confidence I gained just by holding my head up high and saying I don't care about bullies. It doesn't the it gets better. It doesn't get better instantly. I promise you that. It sucks. It sucks for a long time. And you just got to keep going. You just got to like, for instance, I, I remember one day I said, you know what? If I have to, I'm going to eat lunch in the library. I don't need friends because I'd rather have no friends and just myself than people who always tear me down. So you just got to keep building yourself up. And then one day it will get better. And it doesn't necessarily stop. There's always going to be someone who has an issue with you because you're confident in being who you want to be. But you stop caring what they think. And you start just living your life. And you start realizing how many people out there love you and care about you. And how many people don't. So the way I look at those haters, you know, like the the Captain Jack Sparrow post I just posted today, the quote when, he's, when they say, you're the worst pirate I've ever heard of. And he says, but you have heard of me. So you know what? You want to hate my post? You want to hate my fashion? Because those people are my biggest bullies right now, right now, but I don't care. But it doesn't matter because you've seen them. And you're not even searching for them and you've seen them. So that must mean that someone out there cares because they're posting them and I'm not. I'm too busy to even be posting them on these image sites. So, and the other big thing is I wear this bracelet every day and it's a Walt Disney quote. And it says, it's just a portion of the quote. And it says, a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. And that's what I've learned. Every time I get knocked down, only the best things come from it because I realize I either sit here depressed, not going anywhere, focusing on what that person said or what that person did or what has happened to me, or I keep going and I work around it. And a kick in the teeth has always been the best thing in the world for me because I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't get, I didn't get kicked in the teeth a thousand times million times so I just want to address that girl and anyone out there who is bullied because that's a soft spot for me I know what that feels like I know what it feels like to just think your world is done because the girls at school don't like you but you know what they don't like you because they don't get you because here they are trying their hardest in their Abercrombie and Fitch to fit in with all the other girls in Abercrombie and Fitch and here you are and you're being yourself. And they are less confident than you are and they hate that. So just keep being yourself and keep being weird and keep doing what you want to do because it's the weird original people that make it somewhere because there's a thousand of them and only one of you. So I just wanted to address that to her and anyone out there who is bullied and just know that it doesn't get better instantly, but if you keep kind of going with it and keep holding your head up high and deflecting everything and just going and being yourself, your life is going to be amazing. So that's it for me. I hate showing my face and I hate talking on camera. So I'm going to go and I'm going to keep making some outfits now. So hope you see them on Image Fave. <laughs>